On October 27, 2024, exclusive footage from the United 24 channel showcased the Swedish SDRV-122 main battle tank currently utilized by the Ukrainian armed forces. Based on the Leopard 2A5 platform, the SDRV-122 features notable upgrades and reinforced armor, making it a formidable asset in the ongoing conflict with Russian forces. As Ukraine confronts increasing threats, this tank has emerged as a preferred choice for its robust protection and advanced capabilities. The Swedish government announced its decision to supply 10 SDRV-122 tanks to Ukraine on February 24, 2023, coinciding with the anniversary of Russia's full-scale invasion. This strategic move aimed to bolster Ukraine's defense capabilities against the intensifying Russian offensive. Prior to their deployment, Ukrainian crews received training in Sweden to ensure they were well prepared to operate and maintain the tanks effectively. Despite the initial optimism surrounding their deployment, the reality on the battlefield has been challenging. To date, three SDRV-122 tanks have been lost, primarily due to artillery fire and anti-tank missiles in the Kharkiv and Luhansk regions. These losses underscore the inherent dangers faced by armored vehicles in contemporary warfare. Since their arrival, the SDRV-122s have displayed exceptional resilience under fire. The tank's advanced composite armor, which combines high-hardness steel, tungsten and ceramic components, has provided vital protection against various anti-tank threats. A significant engagement in September 2023 demonstrated the tank's durability when a SDRV-122 was struck by a 60-pound Cornet anti-tank missile. Remarkably, the crew emerged unscathed, showcasing the effectiveness of the tank's robust design. The 21st Mechanized Brigade, which has actively employed the SDRV-122, has faced numerous challenges in recent months, with tanks encountering mines, anti-tank missiles, and drone attacks. While several tanks sustained damage, most incidents resulted in superficial harm, attributed to the additional composite armor enhancing the SDRV-122's protective capabilities. However, vulnerabilities remain when exposed to heavier munitions or direct hits to sensitive areas. Since the onset of the conflict, the Ukrainian army has suffered considerable tank losses, largely due to the intense fighting and the proliferation of modern Russian weapon systems. Guided anti-tank missiles, mines, and armed drones have consistently targeted Ukrainian tanks, leading to significant destruction. The older models, which lack advanced armor, have proven particularly susceptible to these threats. In response, the Ukrainian army has intensified its modernization efforts, integrating Western tanks like the SDRV-122, which boast improved armor and camouflage to enhance battlefield survivability. As of late October 2024, Ukraine has reportedly lost approximately 60 Western tanks, including models such as the German Leopard 2, British Challenger 2, and Swedish SDRV-122. These losses have primarily resulted from precise strikes involving anti-tank guided missiles, artillery fire, and drone attacks, which have been effective against even the most advanced armored vehicles. Despite these setbacks, Western tanks remain crucial in modernizing the Ukrainian army's armored forces. To further enhance the survivability of the SDRV-122, Ukrainian forces have implemented heavy camouflage measures. This tactical approach aims to reduce the tank's visibility on the battlefield, disrupting its silhouette and minimizing visual and infrared signatures. Such enhancements make targeting more challenging for drones and detection systems, providing an additional layer of protection against precise strikes, particularly from kamikaze drones and guided weapons. During a recent visit to the brigade's base, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky inspected several SDRV-122 units, revealing the extent of battle damage which was primarily minor and reparable. The resilience of these tanks has played a vital role in maintaining operational tempo and boosting troop morale, even amidst challenging conditions. The SDRV-122 is equipped with numerous enhancements that distinguish it from earlier Leopard models. Among its key features is a sophisticated chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear CBRN defense system, which ensures crew safety across diverse combat scenarios. The tank's ability to navigate water obstacles up to 1.4 meters deep further contributes to its operational flexibility. In terms of targeting and communication, the SDRV-122 integrates state-of-the-art systems, including laser rangefinders, thermographic cameras, and precision calculators. These technologies enable crews to engage multiple targets simultaneously, optimizing decision-making processes and enhancing coordination between units through the Tank Command and Control System, TCCS, developed by Celsius Tech Systems AB. 
Armed with a Rainmetal L-44 120mm smoothbore gun, the STRV-122 can fire various specialized ammunition, including armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabo, APFSDS, rounds and high-explosive anti-tank, heat rounds. Additionally, it features two KSBM-94 7.62mm machine guns and Gaelic smoke grenade launchers, bolstering both offensive and defensive capabilities. The operational impact of the STRV-122 has not gone unnoticed by Russian forces. Recently, an attempt was made to recover a damaged STRV-122A following an engagement where a Russian drone forced the Ukrainian crew to abandon the vehicle. Russian recovery vehicles were dispatched to retrieve the tank, likely for reverse engineering purposes or propaganda. However, Ukrainian drone operators from the 3rd Assault Brigade successfully thwarted these efforts targeting the Russian recovery vehicles and preventing the evacuation. This incident highlighted the risks of recovering valuable military equipment in contested areas and emphasized the necessity of safeguarding against adversaries acquiring Western technology. The failure of the Russian recovery attempt carries broader strategic implications. The SDRV-122, with its advanced design and capabilities, poses a significant technological interest for Russian military forces. The capture or reverse engineering of such equipment could undermine the technological advantage provided by Western-supplied systems to Ukrainian forces. Consequently, protecting these assets remains a critical priority for the Ukrainian military. Manufactured between 1994 and 2002, with a total of 120 units produced, the SDRV-122 represents a significant addition to Ukraine's armored capabilities. Weighing 62.5 tons and powered by a V12MTU MB873 Ka 501 diesel engine delivering 1,500 horsepower, the tank can achieve a maximum speed of 68 km per hour, 42 miles per hour, and an operational range of approximately 550 km, 340 miles. Its advanced suspension system and high ground clearance enhance its stability and maneuverability across varied terrains. The deployment of SDRV-122 tanks has proven instrumental in strengthening Ukraine's defense capabilities, particularly in the contested regions of eastern Ukraine. The combination of heavy armor, firepower, and advanced systems provides a strategic advantage in resisting Russian advances. Recent engagements have underscored the persistent threats posed by anti-tank missiles, mines, and drone attacks, challenging both military equipment resilience and the ingenuity of frontline units. As the conflict continues to evolve, the strategic importance of camouflage and adaptation to modern warfare is becoming increasingly evident. The ongoing question remains, to what extent can advancements in camouflage techniques counteract the development of detection and weapon capabilities, and what does the future hold for tanks in an increasingly technologically driven battlefield?